Hello, I'm Joel Deering with the International Volleyball Hall of Fame. We are speaking one-on-one -on -one today with members of the induction class for 2017. This is Volleyball in Perspective. I'm joined by Irina Kirilova of Russia. Irina, welcome and congratulations. Thank you very much. You are being inducted for your career as one of the world's best setters, as an indoor player for what was truly an amazing international career. You were introduced to the game at a young age, and at 14, you moved 2,000 miles to train under Hall of Fame coach Nikolai Karnol. You were part of seven championships with the Euroloka club prior to joining the Soviet national team. You helped lead your team to a stunning 3-0 semifinal win over China in the 1988 Seoul Olympics and followed it up with a five-set comeback win in the gold medal match against Peru. In 1990, you were named MVP as your team captured the 1990 FIVB World Championship against China. Your club teams from Russia, Croatia, Brazil, and Italy won 27 trophies. Volleyball not only influenced your professional life, in 1988 you also met your husband, Italian coach Giovanni Caprara, while playing in Italy. You teamed up as his assistant coach with a Russian team that won gold at the 2006 FIVB World Championships and later you were named head coach of the Croatia women's national team in 2011. Quite a career and you're still going. Tell us about how you became involved in volleyball. How did you start playing? Well, I, I was uh, 11 years old when I started to play. My father, he was a volleyball player also. And um, in the city when we lived, uh, he was uh, well-knowing. And uh, all his friends uh, who uh, was uh, coaches in other sports uh, even, asked him to uh, uh, bring arena to, 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 to make athletic, swimming, something. But my father never, never pushed me up to do nothing. And I remember just... Um, my father traveled a lot because he, he, he played. And when we was back home, I, I love it to be with him <laughs> <laughs> and, and just go around with him. It's, it was, doesn't matter where, just with him. So in the um, apartment block when we lived, uh, one girl, she, she played volleyball. She was um, bigger than me, I think five, six years. and. Uh, all days when she, she, she went of the pr practice, before uh, she went, she came in and, and my home and uh, asked my grandfather, uh, who uh, was with me after the school, to go with, uh, with the practice. But I always hiding behind the door. <laughs> and one day, I, I didn't have in, ti uh, in time to hide. <laughs> So uh, she saw uh, you. Uh, <laughs> she saw, uh, saw me, and I, I I have to go in this practice. So uh, when I came, uh, it's all girls was um, five six years um, bigger than me. And anyway, it was uh, love in first sight with volleyball. Were you <laughs> were were you a setter once you once you learned how to play? Were you a setter right from the beginning? No, no, no it's because it's when you start to play 11 years old, it's uh, not really, not yet. But uh, in for 40 years old, when I moved to uh, Sverdlovsk, it's a city, it's uh, where is, uh, was the best uh, team in the Soviet team, uh, lead it from Karpol, my coach. and. Uh, after six months, maybe when I when I uh, trained with uh, this team, he told me, uh, "If you want to play very good and you can do it, you have became setter, because uh, with your height it's difficult to to mm -hmm. be uh, hitters." And I I I, I had forty, <laughs> <laughs> and he and he said. Uh, and after, if you if you ready to to work hard, about 23, you can become good setter. <laughs> I said, wow, <laughs> 14, 23. <laughs> okay, I said, okay, we'll but begin. I still love uh, 
uh, heat attacked. I, I always liked. You like to get a chance at that as well. Yeah. So when did you first start playing for the Soviet national team? And, and also wondering, did you have a favorite teammate? Yeah. Well, well when I, f uh, first I was 16, 16 when I started to play in the uh, national team. Um, yeah, it's, um, and I, I remember uh, I went in uh, 1982, uh, my, my first world championship uh, in Peru, I, I remember. And my favor, my favor uh, teammates and uh, my f best friend also, it's Valentino Gienko. She, she is uh, still my best That's friend. That's wonderful. <laughs> did, did you see yourself as a leader on the team? Well, yeah. Because, uh, because f f I, I remember a lit when I was a little girl, I, I wanted always win, win, win. <laughs> and uh, sometimes, I remember uh, my parents, my mother, my father, no, my mother told me, well, sometimes you have to, you have to give chance in other kids. Well, mm -hmm. try to, <laughs> but, but I'm never, I, I didn't want to do it, never. Well, and when I start to play volleyball, I, um, the same uh, thing what I, I thought, I want to win, I want to win, so I, I try to, uh, make my teammates to to do to to do the same way like mm -hmm. I thought. <laughs> well, you knew so you couldn't do it alone, right? Yeah, it's so it's it's maybe. I think I <laughs> I I, <laughs> I would. Look, so as you started to play internationally, you started to travel around the world. Yes. Right. What were some of the favorite places that you went? Well, I. Uh, it's <laughs> it's really many places when I. <laughs> When I stayed, but I adore, for example, Japan. Japan because it's uh, very uh, volleyball. It's very popular in Japan. I like it. People. I like it. Fans. I, uh, I like it. Organization. Uh, it's very much. I like it. Uh, also Brazil. Mm. I, I would. I I played in Brazil also um, in club. Unfortunately, just for one year because I, I was went injured my knee. And I like it, this this place very much because it's volleyball, very popular mm -hmm. in Brazil, and I like it. People also mentality, Brazilian mentality, because it's they always they they know uh, leave because yeah. they always uh, excited uh, life. Yeah, they're very enthusiastic. Yeah, enthusi for sure. yeah, yeah. So let's talk about the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul. So going into the games, did you believe you were going to win the gold medal? Uh, anytime when I speak <laughs> about this moment, and just past almost 30 years, I, I am very emotional <laughs> to speak about it. Well, uh, I have to, to say uh, uh, we came in this Olympics. Its way for came in this Olympics was very difficult because in... Um, 87, we, uh, 1987, we lost Euro uh, Europe Championship. It was uh, directly you, uh, before you, you can go f to Olympics. But we lost. And we, ha uh, we had to play uh, qualification. Uh, and it was very, uh, very difficult. We almost we, um, uh, was l uh, losing uh, against Brazil. Uh, it was very hard uh, match, I, I remember. But when we came in, in Seoul for Olympics, nobody thought about uh, uh, medals for us, not even gold, because in, in this Olympics, in about gold, uh, don't speak nobody, because it was Chinese already before the starting. Right. So, and uh, because uh, they for seven years, uh, Chinese for seven years, they uh, don't uh, uh, don't last one one uh, official uh, ma match. So, and uh, um, I I I believe it when uh, it, it's possible. It's mm -hmm. very difficult, but it's possible. But I think it's uh, it's maybe Carpel coach. He he was uh, he was. Uh, uh, thought like me, I, I, I thought like him.
because uh, he's crazy, but I'm a little bit also. <laughs> and <laughs> so it's, um, it's, yeah, it was um, very, <laughs> very particular Olympics for us. And, yes. And the, and the final, the gold medal match was so exciting, right? What, what, what are your memories about that match? Uh, well, I, 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 I don't remember nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, I remember just we was uh, losing uh, two, two uh, to zero, and twelve to six in third set, S and and this time <laughs> it's played till fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> and Carpel took a second time out, and he said, "When we played, you, your your eyes." have burned because you want to play and after that we change and everything changed wow. and uh, yes it was dramatically in the major uh, even because we played against Peru but uh, against Peru these years we always won it's difficult but always won mm. So it was really, and I remember when it's finished, it was first time in my life I was crying for volleyball. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. So let's talk about some of the great players you played against from other countries. Is, is there one or two players that during your time uh, you felt were the, were the best players on the other side of the net? Well, I, um, I have I have to tell it's uh, about my teammates, uh, Russian, it wa was pretty good, <laughs> all of let's them. <laughs> so let's start with <laughs> them then. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, also I, I played with Cuban, like Maria Luis, uh, Fernandez, Ruiz. Uh, I played with, uh, with, with against uh, Brazilian, Anna Flavia, Anna Moser, uh, Giselle Gavio. Uh, I played with Italian. Uh, uh, many Italian in uh, no national team. Uh, mm, I played with. Um, I don't remember all of them. <laughs> that's uh, that's <laughs> too plenty. Much. Too uh, much. Well, you, well, you certainly had you certainly had a career playing against and with yeah. many great players. Um, you, you've you've talked a little bit about um, the inspiration that you got, you know, for as a competitor, as you left the game. And then, at some point, you started to get into coaching. Well, uh, when I, uh, I had birth, uh, my daughter, uh, it's after a couple of months, it's uh, Russian Federation asked my husband to coaching and help me coaching him, even because he, uh, I was also translator. Uh, so it's... Uh, was very good experience, but uh, very difficult for me, because uh, it's uh, our daughter was travel with us all over. E even she, she she had five months, so mm. it was very difficult because I I had to do mother mm -hmm. coach and uh, a friend and uh, 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 speak very much with um, Russian players, because um, Giovanni. My husband, when he, he came to the national team, it's mentality very, very different uh, for Russian. So it was uh, pretty difficult uh, for me. But it was uh, very, uh, very, very nice because I like the difficulties. Because <laughs> you like the challenge. I, 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 yes, <laughs> I have to create difficulties because after when you have uh, suc uh, uh, successo, um, you have result, and um, you you can appreciate more your work. I think. What, did you work? Did you work specifically with the setters, or did you work with well, the offense? Uh, well, I I work with uh, anybody, but uh, um, very much with setters. Yes, very much. Th you, you've seen some changes in the sport, right? Some th there have been some changes with rules and, and that kind of thing. Um, when you look ahead, what changes do you think are ahead in the sport of volleyball? I really don't know to say because it's every year change something. Yeah. Every year, it, it, now volleyball it's tot 
totally different uh, like was before. But I, I think it's um, uh, who really loved volleyball. It's uh, just enough to play. Sure. To play because it's, it's, it's if you patient, you patient to, to play, it doesn't matter what it's change. It's enough you, you play, you can play. Your, your philosophy of coaching, or how would, how would your players describe you as a coach? Well, I am, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, from my experience, because I'm, um, I have big experience like player, but not co like coach, uh, it's uh, uh, difficult to me, um, very difficult to me uh, to, to stay um, close to court, but you can enter. <laughs> so, and uh, uh, I'm, uh, pretty nervous. I uh, want to to uh, help any minutes f uh, for my players, but y you can do it. And uh, so it's. Um, I thought it's uh, maybe I. It's uh, better uh, if I not coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Just setter. I like. I like that very you much. Like working with the setters. Well, you had a tremendous career. You're being honored this weekend. The, the last question for you is. What does it feel like to be inducted into the International Volleyball Hall of Fame? Well, uh, when I knew about, uh, about, my, uh, um, uh, about this news from my federation, I, I had smiling <laughs> from here <laughs> I here. <laughs> so, and uh, and was, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Even if it's very difficult, surprised me. <laughs> it was wow. I have really big deal, <laughs> so it's it's uh, really um, make me very very happy, very uh, honored at the same uh, time because uh, it's uh, it's uh, mean to me. Y you have you have done something very important mm -hmm. like in, in my life. Well, and you have, and it's been wonderful to have a chance to uh, share this time with you. Thank you very much. We've been speaking with International Volleyball Hall of Fame Class of 2017 honoree Irina Kirilova. This is Volleyball in Perspective and I'm your host Joel Deering. Thank you for watching.